All right, hey guys, welcome to Mech Warrior Online. This is Fuzzy Nova, and today we have the Cicada 3FL. I come back to this mech every now and then. Uh, the last time I did this was a while ago, probably well over a year. But this is a classic mech and a classic build of mine, and it's it's really cool because of how little this mech has. The loyalty variant, the 3FL loyalty variant, was available uh, for those years and years ago. If you bought a certain amount of MC or if you bought a certain mech, there was little rules and regulations, and I don't know if they still do this. I haven't paid attention in the last year or two, but usually every year they gave out loyalty mechs for those that bought certain things. Or, Anyways, this is one of the most underrated cicadas in my opinion. It only has four energy hard points. That really doesn't leave a lot, you know, for builds. Usually, a you know, cicadas have at least a missile and an energy, or a ballistic and a missile, or at least two different types, but four energy uh, left me kind of uh, frazzled for a while. And for years, I worked on this on this mech, trying different things, and I finally came up with something that is really odd. But at the same time, it's really, really effective, and it's really good if you can play it. It's not difficult to play, it's just seems a little undergunned, but it's not. Let me tell you why. First of all, let's take a look at the mech. The design of the cicada is really, really nice. Uh, the original paint job of this is really awesome, but I'm doing the whole Halloween colors thing, so there's that. And I'll, I'll show you a brief image of the um, original paint job on this, which I can take off, but I'll do that later. Uh, this is a classic mech, and if you have this mech, if you actually have the 3FL loyalty variant, I highly recommend trying this. Unless you're just not, a, a, you don't like piloting faster max. I highly recommend trying this. If you don't have this variant, if you don't have the 3FL, try to find a cicada that has four energy hard points at least, and has at least a 10 to 20 percent, well, a, at least a 10 percent energy cooldown uh, quirk. This one has a minus 20 percent energy cooldown quirk. Right off the bat, you already got a minus 20 percent energy cooldown. Thing else was from the skill tree that I'm going to show you here in a second. We're going to use four medium pulse lasers. In previous videos where I've done this uh, build, I've had a lot of comments saying, well, why don't you use large pulse lasers mixed in? And I've, I've tried that. I even tried that today. Large pulse lasers, a few medium pulse. Large pulse laser usually hits you over that heat threshold. And this has really good heat. But at the same time, large pulse lasers usually do that. If you're using two large pulse lasers, you will only have those two weapons. You won't have any heat sinks or JJs or anything else, which is fine with me. I, I actually used to run this without any jump jets. But recently, I decided to go with a light engine, a light 265. It only gives you 107 kph, but I have speed tweak, which actually speed tweak max gives me almost 9 kph. So I, I got 115, 116 kph speed here, which is perfect. You go to the skill tree and you max this thing out. You're gonna get another 15, at least 15%. I would say 15% cooldown off that. I could be wrong, it might only be 10. Either way, you're looking at a 30, minus 30 to minus 40% cooldown. If not more, I don't know. But max out your firepower, you get your cooldowns, you got your heat gens, most of you know this already, you got your laser durations, you've got your ranges, all of it. Well, except for the ballistic part. Move on over, I normally do this anyways. I go firepower, mobility, operations. Sometimes I'll use um, sensors. Never use jump jets. Well, as well. Range. Max range with my quirks, we're looking at 506 meters max range. I don't want to be shooting the enemy at that range. Um, it happened last match and the match before that. And what's going to happen is if you're out of range like that, yeah, you're still going to get those uh, hits that you did hit the enemy. But all that work you did, you're only going to get half, half of what you could have done. What I mean is, is you want to stay between the zero and 300 meter range, basically, because our optimal range is 220 plus another 33, so we're looking at 253 meter optimal. So between zero and 300 meters is a good spot to be. 300 meters is fine. 253 is perfect. Try not to stay out of that. So that means you're going to have to be a closer one which means you need to stay close to your friendlies, which means that you really don't want to go in alone. All systems nominal. God, look how foggy it is. What the hell? I can't see anything. Chain 
fire off, damn. See if we can relay some info back to our teammates here and where Target acquired. Roger that. that. Blip in C3. UAV activated. But he's nowhere near a flag. Why is it critical? God oh, damn it. Like what what are you like what are you target Where's that guy going? Why are they going back there? There's no more enemies back there. New target acquired. Come on! Such bullshit. Come on, guys, this is becoming a kill zone down here. can't see a thing out here. What is our team doing? Target destroyed. That annoys me. Someone like, what are you guys sitting there for? Mad Dog still standing? Kill the son of a bitch. Why is this overheating right now? Like, especially on a cold map, it's odd to me. Backside. I saw him at D4. He was running around the edge. 
Fast little guy. Oh, it's a panther. Got him. Panther down, baby. Down for the count. We got another one? I guess he's done. We won victorious. That sight though, man, that is too damn foggy for anyone to see. But taking the cicada out, pulling 780 freaking damage, you got two KMDDs. We did a fantastic job in this. Kind of a rough match though. Uh, overheating a little bit, but that's okay kind of odd because I haven't really overheated yet so that was a different but we were going hard on those lasers you see how fast they shoot 780 damage no prob in the cicada 3f little variant that's why I like using four medium pulse lasers the only issue is you have you don't have a long range so you got to kind of get kind of close and kind of be squirrely so it's really risky but you're not using an XL you're using a light engine if you want to go in if I was to go faster it'd be more safe technically but 115 kph is fine it's a very good mech. If you have one, I recommend using it. If you don't, find a cicada that has at least minus 10% energy cooldown and use those four energy hard points that are on it, or however many are on it. Just you know, at least use four medium pulse lasers if you can. SRMs, that'd be nice too. We'll see you guys in the next video here shortly. I'll be making one very soon. So have a good rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Let's go out. They say it's space. No one can hear you fucking scream. But not everyone really knows what is out here. The magnitude of what's happened. This can't be real. That was me on day one. When the freighters started showing up. The destroyers. Cruise shuttles. But this one. A few months ago, we received a beacon, an SOS signal from a deep space freighter. Very far out. The video feed we got from this freighter before it went down and we lost contact is something that no one should ever see.